Revive was developed by Rivet as a framework to move Domino applications to. Um, Rivet has been involved in the migration of applications for the last 12 years. And one of the things that we found is that there's not a real place to put your complex Domino applications in. We saw an opportunity to develop a platform that was based on open source technologies that allowed companies to move their applications to something that would be sustainable going forward. The intent of Revive is to provide a home for those complex applications. We so, converted applications for the appraisal industry, the banking industry to manage uh, branches, and we've, we've done it for uh, the tax industry to basically manage tax software that's developed for those industries. Revive is built as a what's called a Spring Boot application. So it's using uh, Java technology to basically provide you access to the data in a sustainable way. Spring Boot is a fully sustainable, accepted enterprise technology that's used by a number of large companies. The database portion of it, again, it's SQL, but it could be any flavor of SQL that you have. You can run it on Postgres, you can run it on MySQL, you can run it on MS SQL, you can run it on any flavor of SQL that you want. And then on the front end, we use something called React. React is one of the most popular JavaScript frameworks that you can use. Uh, again, the whole idea with Revive was to make it a sustainable platform that you can find resources for, that you can use existing resources within your, your environment to actually manage and maintain this. So we have developed a sustainable platform on open standards that you can then take forward and continue to develop the application. We're migrating functions and features that you already have to use Domino. That means that views and navigation methods that you currently use within Domino, we're migrating them over. So that ensures that a user is not taken to an application that is hugely alien to them. It may look a lot different, it may look very modern, but when he really starts to peel away things, he's still using the same type of features and functions that he did in Domino. So code integrity was not something that Domino was known for. So when we looked at Revive, we had to figure a way of how do we get code into, into something that is similar, but can still require to have the new requirements of, of data integrity to enforce that, that idea that data had to be consistent. And it also had to run within popular type of SQL systems. We didn't want to introduce into companies more non-SQL type systems. So we didn't want to introduce Mongo or Cassandra or any of those type of non-SQL systems into companies. And so we had to run on things like MS SQL, Oracle, or MySQL, or Postgres, those popular type of SQL platforms that companies are using. And so what we, we ended up on was to use the JSON store that existed within those frameworks. That allowed us to keep the data in the original format, but allowed us to continuously update and maintain it within this new framework without having to go and rationalize or normalize the data. The primary thing that we distribute with uh, Revive is a, a system administration area. And that system administration area includes a number of things. One meaning, one area is user management. So we provide something that's similar to the Domino directory within Revive. That allows you to put in application-specific profiling information for that user or those users that are using the application. The other thing we do as part of our migration is we basically migrate all the access control lists that existed within an application. So in, an, in a Domino application, you have something called an ACL, which defines who the users are, who the groups are, what their individual access is to the application, and it also defines what are called rules. We take all of that and we move it into Revive. And we then allow you to manage it in a similar way that you managed it within, within Notes itself. So if you go to our system administration area, you'll see that there's a profile document that's set up for an application. And in there, there's an ACL list. And we manage that ACL list in the same way. You can define new users in it. You can manage existing users. And you can change their access to the system. 
Domino also provided something called reader fields or document level access. We migrate all that document level access over and in the same way that you manage the notes, you manage it within our system as well. At the document level, you can turn that, that function on or off and you can add users to that function as you want. That we have an accelerator that moves a lot of the application over. This also allows us to kind of do a, I don't know if you call it a, a zero point implementation, meaning that we don't have to do requirements gathering, right? Once we've moved and accelerated the application over, we now have everything that we need to translate the application. And out of the box, the accelerator has developed an application that is runnable. So you can see your data running right after we do an acceleration in the new framework. You can go to any of the data that existed. You can do any, look at any of the views. You can search for data. You'll have all that readily available to you. What will take time is the actual conversion of the application code. So those, that business critical code that you had in there, we will take a look at it and we'll migrate it over. But we don't need a requirements gathering and we do it the right way, meaning that we understand what the application was doing, and the end result is you get an application that functions from a business standpoint exactly like the original application did. The views that exist are automatically migrated over, so we have all the column headings, all the data components that were in the views already migrated as part of the, the acceleration. All the forms are migrated over as well. And we try as best we can in the acceleration tool to migrate the actual positioning of all the fields and labels that existed on that. And as best we can, we migrate the code that existed in those places as well. So if there's any action buttons that existed on a form or on a view for, for that fact as well, then we will migrate that in place. So if there's a button that says submit, a button that says approval, a button that says something else, and there's code behind it, we migrate it in place and you can see it and you can edit it and you can change it over to the new framework. And then data is, is the easiest part for us to migrate. There is no rationalization, normalization that you have to do with Revive. We migrate it in place in a format that is really readily acceptable by Revive and it allows you to move applications without any kind of rationalization or normalization. Because we're moving into a new framework, we're moving into a web-based platform, that platform allows you to do things such as create responsive applications, meaning that it can run on any device that you want it to run on and understands that something is in a portrait mode or landscape mode automatically. As well, our technology that, that moves the views or, or the destination of a view is very um, um, feature rich, meaning that you can take advantage of things like column filtering, you can take advantage of sorting, you can take advantage of rich text searching within the application anywhere you are. So there's a number of things that are advancements in technology that you could take advantage of. And there's a there's a, just a modernization of the application that happens with all these features. So you end up not with a domino application that now is on a new platform. You end up with a new application that is running on a sustainable platform. When moving to a new platform, normally you have to go through a long requirements process. Right? Applications that normally are mission critical were developed over years, like the enhancements that basically were put into applications over years. With those type of applications, you normally have to do requirements gathering. You have to have some kind of expert that sits with your developers to give them the insight of how the application will work, what the application does, what specific functions do. The benefit of using Revive is that because we do code level translation and the framework of the application is developed or migrated by our accelerator, we can provide an estimate of effort and cost almost immediately, right? Because we know that we have to translate X amount of code. And then because we're, we're translating code in place, it provides us a way of ensuring that the business functionality that you intended 
is what we have to translate to. Because we're Domino experts, we know what the original application was doing and we know what we have to convert over to it. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more, please go to rivet.ca, like, comment, and subscribe.